Give it a second. Give it a second. There it is. We're gonna go through this whole intro because it's so 1993. Wait, there's more. on for a while, doesn't it? Oh, wow. Look at that. That's crazy detail for 1992 or 3 or whatever this was. Is it 92? I think this is 92. Oh, 93. It says right there. <laughs> I'm with it today, you guys. Wow, look at this. It just keeps going. tell they had a bigger budget than the first game. Still going. Yeah, this is probably mind-blowing in 1993. Oh my god. It's a flat shaded thing until it gets a little closer. Like just a flat, flat green. Okay, all right, all right. Oh. Wow. So in my head, I was about to say, this game is almost 20 years old. No, it's almost 30 years old, you guys. This game is almost 30 years old. It probably has a job and a family by now. It's lucky it has a mortgage, <laughs> depending on where they live. Oh, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. It is June 7th, 2022, and we are back. Sorry for the long break. I was so tired. I needed a break. Um, but I'm glad I took it, because now I've got some energy. We are back. We are continuing our look at pre-3D acceleration flight sims. This week with Aces Over Europe, Dynamics is... One of their last flight sims, like after this, it was Red Baron 2, and that was pretty much it, right? I don't think they did another one after that. I don't think. Kind of a shame, because I don't know if you saw in the intro, but it said Great, like, Great Plane Series, or Great War Series. They, like, apparently they planned a whole series of flight sims that just... It didn't take off. I, uh... Oh yeah, A10 Tank Killer 2. Thank you for reminding me of that one. I always forget about poor A10 Tank Killer 2, even though I own it. I always forget about A10 Tank Killer 2. 
I mean, I never forget about the first one, but you're right. You're absolutely... You are absolutely correct. That A-1010 killer 2 is a thing. Okay. A little rusty. Like my voice is already starting to get a little... Because I haven't been talking a lot. You know, I've, because I haven't streamed in a while, I've been talking a lot less. So it's like... oh. I, I, I mean, when, during the day when Nicole's not here, I barely say, I only talk to my cats. So, anyway. Yeah, and then, like, they made a few more, couple more Sims. Uh, Red Baron 2 and then A10 2. And then, uh. Oh, crap. What? Ah, stop it. Hang on a second. Huh. Dude, hang on a second. One second, folks. We have a small technical glitch here. about it, to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't know what to do about it. I'm sorry. I, I honestly do not know what to do about that. I can't, like... I don't think I can kill the bot and restart it. Or, can, you do, can you do that with bots? Can you do that with a... Where's the, wait, where's the restream bot? Hang on a second. Where's the... Oh, wait. Hang on, hang on. Where's the restream bot? Alright, folks. Just a technical issue. Um, where's the restream bot? seeing the restream bot. Hang on a second. I don't think I am, honestly. Hang on. Hang on. Alright folks, give me one second. I apologize. We're having some technical issues. the restream bot. Not active for some reason. wonder how I can re... Okay. I 
am not sure what's going on, you guys. Very, very confusing. And I'm not sure... do something drastic. One second, sorry folks. One second. Enjoy the men main menu music. Enjoy, enjoy that. Yeah, yeah, authorize. Oh, for God's sakes. Uh, doing one of those Google things where I gotta pick pictures of a bus. <laughs> Come on. They call it a motor bus. Just reconnected the restream bot. Um, should be working now. Okay, so it's set up now. So let's see. reason it's still not going to discord all right folks I don't know what I don't know what else to do really right now I apologize we'll just have to grin and bear it I guess um, that's a damn shame that is a damn shame I'm I'm very annoyed I'll have to uh Oh, man. Okay, so now the bot just went away and came back. Okay, so the bot's back, and I've given the bot all the relevant permissions. Uh... I'm right not in the mood right now. <laughs> uh, it's still not working. All right, I'm sorry, folks. I don't know what else to do about it here. I've reconnected the bot. I've reauthorized uh, Discord. I've told it which channel to use. And... Uh, Yeah, it is, uh, it is just not happy right now. <sighs> Alright, I'm sorry, folks. Uh, maybe you'll do better watching on Twitch if you want the whole chat. 
thing uh, going. Is it not working there either? Not working there either? Oh my god, hang on a second. working from Twitch now also? Oh my god. I might have broken it even worse now, you guys. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well. Not going to Discord. So... So, uh, but it seems to be working on Twitch and whatnot. Alright, we'll just... We'll just... We'll just um... Okay. Alright. Sorry about that, we just wasted 15 minutes. Um... hear that? The music got a little slower for a second. That was weird. Uh, welcome to Aces Over Europe. Uh, Dynamics is follow-up to Aces Over the Pacific. Yeah, I don't know why, but eventually Dynamics went more into racing games than flight sims. But I think it worked out better for them in the long run, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's a good reason they did that. It frustrates me. It really frustrates me. But what are you gonna do? The rivet counters have won, and it's just it just makes me really sad that the rivet counters have won because we don't get Sims like this anymore because of the goddamn rivet counters. All right, so uh, let's start with the simple stuff. Wow, we have more uh, single mission types this time. Yeah, yeah, I know. But then they went all in on racing sims shortly after this. And uh, they did all those NASCAR games, and I think they're still doing them. You know, I think that the people behind Dynamics are still doing the racing sims. I think. All right. to set my difficulty no no but there is a realism panel that's exactly what i want the realism panel i wish there was a realism panel for life <laughs> how great would that be uh alt r hang on uh no we no no and no <laughs> Yeah, small yet very overtly, disgustingly vocal niche of people wanted that immersion. And, oh, there are 18 rivets on a rudder, not 17 rivets on a rudder. Fuck you, developer. I I will never forgive rivet counters for driving people like Andy Hollis out of the out of the uh out of the industry entirely. Like he did gunship, you know, he did longbow. Longbow 2, some of the best helicopter sim game things ever made. And and because of these assholes who now love DCS, same people, um, he just left the game industry entirely. And I'm still angry about that. <laughs> like the same thing that drove... Uh, drove... Uh, Throw the guy who made uh, Rebel Galaxy Outlaw out of the industry. Same kind of vitriol. So stupid. I, I Sometimes I hate gamers. Sometimes I really hate gamers. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's accept. So those are all bad guys. Okay. Okay. 
Unlimited ammo! I just shot down a flown by an expert pilot. Well, apparently not that expert, because I shot them down. And they're pretty much flying in a straight line. Look at that detail. Actually, that's pretty good for 1993. Expert pilot my ass. It's trying to make me feel better, game. Squish. Squish. Get back here, you little bastard. Where are you? Where'd you go? You're around here somewhere, I know it. Where are you? Look at it. hang on. Oh, apparently I'm in a P-51. Ooh. I gotta say, they really made good use of the MT-32. But Sierra was really the big ones, um... Is a high res mode really? Does it? Oh okay, yeah, I have to look at that because I'm not aware. High res mode, huh? I wonder if that's. I'll look in the manual in a second. Um, no, oh, that, the, where, where's everybody? Where's everybody? Where's everybody? Where's every, where'd everybody go? Okay. Still four planes out there? All right, sure. Why not? Yeah, that is impressive for using a music device to make that sound effect. Yeah. But Sierra and Dynamics were really all in on this MT-32, so it doesn't surprise me that they uh, learned how to use it to its fullest. Bastard. Oh, hey, you're just flying straight, aren't you? Squish, squish. Squish, squish. I'm back here. I'm back here. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Eee. Wow, that's cool. You can't see through the smoke. Ah. Yeah, I would think you. I would think by 1993, more things were using VGA. For that sweet 640 by 480 or even super VGA you know I mean for that sweet 640 by 480 action maybe they weren't though uh, are they running away they might be running away oh my goodness Nice detail once you get close enough. Honestly. Oh no, my aircraft has stalled.
Yeah, I think it's funny how until you get close enough, they're just basically like flat shaded one color things. Until you get like really close, and then the then the then the detail like just pops in. I mean, I know you know you know computers back in 1993 weren't the most powerful things in the world, but that's what they that's what we had. I, I get it. Oh God. All recovered. Okay, where'd you go, buddy? You were on smoke. You were on fire a minute ago. Well, smoky anyway. Only hit once. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm a terrible shot. I'm terrible. And that didn't uh <laughs> Yeah, I suppose. But I mean, from you could probably see more detail from further out in real life than you can in this. But again, 1993, I should be a little more forgiving. You know. When do, when does anyone remember when the 486 was introduced cuz I got my first 486 in 1993, so it must have been around for at least a year or two at that point. Um, was it 93? Yes, yes, I got my first 486 in 1993. A leading edge, if anyone remembers those guys. Leading edge. Yeah, I got it, got it. It came with one of the earliest CD drives. You know, it was one of those ones where it had the separate tray. Whoa! Eh, we occupied the same space for a minute. Remember, remember those early CD-ROM drives where you had to take the whole the whole tray would come out, and then you put the disc in the tray and slide the whole tray back in. It didn't have the didn't have the drawer that it would open up. You know. Blueberries. I don't get that reference. Come on. All right. I think we've killed... Oh, wait. We, we should finish this guy off, right? We should finish... We should finish Smokey, Smokey McBandit here. Come on. All right. There we go. He's on fire. There we go. Bye-bye. Oh, God. Right. There's no nameplate, like in uh, Secret Weapons of the Luftwaffe, to remind you which plane you're flying. Where are the views? Where are the views? Hang on. Um, where are the view buttons? Oh, hang on. Oh, that's how you do it? Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. That is some actual nice detail for 1993. Look at that. Look at that. That is... That is that is really nice for 1993. It's no tornado, but that's not fair. <laughs> tornado for me is like the gold standard, <laughs> which most other flight sims are judged, to be honest. Uh, especially of this era. Okay, so how do we... Okay, let's end them. Let's end them. Oh, so I guess... Nah. Oh. All right, so let's see. We can fly in a store. Let's, let's do a few more of these. Close support. Ooh, ooh, anti-shipping. Oh, these are fun. Intercept bombers. Wow. A lot of fun. Let's <sighs> intercept some bombers. We'll do the Royal Air Force this time. Tempests. Okay. I 
really like I really like this kind of early hyperlinking. <laughs> you know, I really I really kind of like this very early hyperlinking here. Exxon, overall difficulty one. All right, let's intercept some. Are these bombers? I thought this is an intercept bomber mission. Oh, well, that's nice to know. Still landing gear, yeah. Ooh, that's a nice map. Where is that? Is that still is that France? Is that still France? I don't know. I I have an American public school education. I don't know. Oh, hello. 12 o'clock high. Wow, there are certainly there are certainly many of them. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Can I give hang on. Can I give orders to my I probably can, I just don't remember what it is. Uh oh yeah, send a radio message. Uh F3, entire flight. Attack the fighters. Sure. That's cool. No, that was too. It was way too north for Spain. See, look, I'm, I'm up. I'm well. No, that, no, that's probably France, right there, right. I'm probably in France, probably, right. Oh, maybe. Spain is to the south, isn't it? So this is the Netherlands up here. No, this is probably still France, right? Right. 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 Sounds French. All right, hang on, God. Uh, oh, apparently I can. Let's see. Let's, let's do that. Nope, there we go. Uh, all res. Oh. What that did. Oh, there's definitely more ground detail than there used to be in the old games. <laughs> Hang on, let me hit my turbo button, you guys. <laughs> oh, this is the high res mode? Tall re tall mode is the high res mode? Okay. Sure. Why not? Hey, where'd all the ground detail go? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to hit the I forgot to hit the turbo button. Uh alright, hang on. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Flown by a regular pilot. I do? Oh, well. It's actually not a bad option for uh, for a game of this era to, to have that kind of thing turn off and on. Where'd everybody go? Okay. Yeah, this is definitely more detailed than, uh, than, uh, than, uh, than, 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 um, in the last game. Definitely. What a difference a couple, uh, especially back then, a couple of years made a huge difference between 1991 and 1993. You know? Oh no, my wingman's been hit. You son of a bitch. I'm gonna kill you all.
All guns. There we go. You bastard. Are these bombers? I thought I did an intercept bomber mission, but these aren't bombers. Good job, wingman. With no name. Oh no, my wingman's been hit. Oh no. Now they're all gonna. Uh, uh. Someone is rattling a cup of dice at me. No! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Someone's typing really fast on a typewriter! No! <laughs> What's. Someone's rattling a bunch of pencils in a plastic cup! Help! <laughs> I'm sorry, still nothing as funny as the piano sounds from Tornado. That still c cracks me the bing bong bong. bong. <laughs> still fucking, still, it still cracks me up. <sighs> that's a, that's an enemy plane over there, right? That, that is, right? Hang on, is there anyone? Oh, there's someone over there. Oh, uh, we. Nope, nope. There we go. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, you son of a biscuit. Oh. Trixie won you. Trixie, Trixie Germans. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Look at that. Did you see that the flap moves? Look at the rudder. Okay, it doesn't look like the rudder moves. Wow, they're all behind me. Hey, everybody. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Wee. Am I? Am I being shot at? Oh, I am being shot at. My goodness. Whoop. Okay, where are these bastards? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, you're right behind me. Okay. Whoop. <laughs> Oh no! More pencils! <laughs> oh no, more pencils are being rattled around me. Oh no! <laughs> someone's, someone's rolling a bunch of big pens in a cup. <laughs> in a plastic cup around me. There you go. <laughs> no, both my wingmen have been shot down at this point. Both my wingmen have been shot down at this point. So, so all all that's left are me and uh, and a bunch of Germans. Flown by a regular pilot. Yeah, that's it. By regular. <laughs> boring Mc, boring McBland over there. I am being shot at. Oh my goodness. I am being shot at. Look at those red lines. <laughs> These guys are regular Germans. <laughs> not, not expert or novice Germans. 
Wow, that was an expert German. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I shot down an expert German. <laughs> expert German. <laughs> expert German. Oh, my God, that's great. <laughs> Well, I'm clearly a novice Brit flying this thing. Ooh, look at that detail. That is actually really nice. Yeah, the propeller effect is neat. It's simple, but very effective. Look at that. Ooh. That is really nice detail for 1993, I have to admit. That is pretty nice. I see you over there. I see you over there. I see you. <laughs> I know that name. That's why I find it funny. I know that name, but I don't know why I know that name. Like in the back of my mind, I know what I know who that is and why it's funny, but not coming to the front part of my brain. Dorsa, remind me who that is. I wonder if I can hit him from here. Apparently not. Apparently too far away. Oh, okay. That's why I remember that name. Was he World War One or World War Two? That's why I knew that name. Okay, that's why I knew that name. I'm sure it's come up in a book I've read about aerial combat in World War II. Oh, I shot down a veteran German, you guys. <laughs> There's novice, regular, veteran, expert, <laughs> Eric Hartman. <laughs> uh, is there another? Is there another German around? <laughs> I saw that. Where'd you go, you bastard? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I just saw you. Where'd you go, you son of a... Where'd you go, you son of a biscuit? Oh, you sneaky devil. Expert German. <laughs> yeah, that might be it. All right, let's see if the autopilot works. It does! End mission. Oh, no. Where end mission? Uh, end mission. I don't get this pause here. <sighs> 352. Oh my God. 352 kills? Holy mother of Christ. Is he the biggest ace of World War II? Cause I, oh my God, hang on. Yeah. 
Yeah, according to Wikipedia, he is the biggest, um, he's got the most kills of World War II, apparently. 352. Wow, all the biggest aces were German. Kind of makes sense. They didn't rotate people out. 352. My lord. Yeah, I can't imagine that record will ever be broken. Yeah, all the top aces of World War II are German, according to Wikipedia. Let's see, the, the close, oh my god, wow. Yeah, the, okay, so all the way down the list, the only one to get, the only non-German to get even close to 100 kills is a Finn, Ilmari... I'm guessing Utilan, Utilanen? Anyway, yeah, that guy had 94. That's the only non-German to have even that many, cl close to that many kills. And then you have Tetsuo Iwamoto of Japan with 80 kills. And then another Finn, Hans Wind. Well, that's a great name. That's a great name. But yeah, Eric Hartman, apparently. Dear Lord. The top U.S. ace only got 40. Wow. Oh, God, his name is Richard Bong. <sighs> yeah, the top U.S. ace only got 40 kills compared to 350. Jesus Christ. Oh, really? That Finn was never shot down? Wow. I read a book about uh, a Japanese ace who was shot down and, um, and survived. And because he survived, he was kind of like seen as a blight on society for many years. It was really sad, actually. <laughs> I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but uh, he lost one of his eyes. Um, it was a really good book, a really sad book. Really, really sad book. But, um, man. Yeah, there it goes. Saburo Se Seikai. He was shot down in 1942, but survived. And he, fl yeah, yeah, it was an amazing story. He got shot in the skull and still flew hundreds of miles back to base. Yeah, it's called Zero. The biography is called Zero. Um, and let me see if I can, uh, yeah, the biography is called Zero. It was really, really, it was a really great read. Very sad, though. Because, my God, his culture really did not treat him well for surviving. <laughs> it was really sad, actually. <laughs> I mean, eventually they came around and, I believe, treated him like the hero he was. But, my God, yeah, for a while he was seen as... He was um, yeah, really seen as a... A blight. Fighter Knight. Oh, hang on. I know we're supposed to be playing the game, but just hang tight. I think the chat is more important than the game, so... You know. Double Fighter Knight. Well, that's not, that's not on uh, Amazon. Let me look up the pilot. Wow. No, 
got that on Amazon. Yeah, I remember that, Spaz. Very, it was just very sad that he was seen as such a pariah for many years in Japan after being um, being shot down. Okay. All right, so that was fun. Um, those weren't bombers, though. Those were fighters. I guess I could have changed it. Uh, all right, so we just intercepted some bombers. Ooh, anti-shipping will be fun. That's a shame. That's a good point, Fernando. They really were... They really were excellent... Um, they really were excellent uh, gateways into learning more about uh, history. <sighs> like, I love how... The majority of the secret weapons of the Luftwaffe manual is like about the history of World War II. It's like 200 pages about the war and then 100 pages about the game. Ooh, I've got rockets. How do you shoot rockets? R apparently fires rockets. Well, all right. Swarm. <laughs> really? All right, so we've got rockets, you guys. <laughs> That's true, Thorsten. Learned so much about history through video games. <laughs> Boink. So now we're in a German plane. Wait, what? <laughs> All right, so autopilot. We've reached the coastal vessels. Oh, there they are. Okay, guys, we got dots ahead. <laughs> I'm not a dive bomber. I don't need to, you know. <laughs> oh, that flak? <laughs> ah! I didn't. I didn't lower the landing gear. It's going up like that. Hang on. Why is my landing gear down? Look at that. Why are the rockets going like that? Weird. Come on. Back in the... Okay. Have some rockets. Ah. <laughs> oh, okay. Look 
I guess I should have bombs on this thing then. Maybe. All right. Well, we'll just keep shooting the. We'll just keep shooting the boats. I guess. Shooty, shooty, shooty. Uh. Attack the. Uh, sure. That was funny. <clears throat> Why am I landing here down? Right, because I was flying too low. The one, one, uh, one ship is down. No, I don't want my landing gear lowered. Now, I think the landing gear deployed when I got low enough. I think that's what happened. Yeah, hang on. See, I think the landing gear deploys when you get super low, like this. Like... Yeah, see? <laughs> but since I'm invulnerable... <laughs> I'm shooting at the dead boat. Oh, it's another dead boat. <laughs> Precise German engineering. Okay, so we still have a couple of boats, I think. Oh, there's one over there. Hey, right? Is that an actual... Is that still a boat? It's still a boat. <laughs> on fire? Well, it's hard to tell from here. Flight. Yeah, do that. Is that a destroyed boat? No, nope, I don't think... Now it is. Oh! Cool! I wish more flight sims would... I, w I wish more flight sims would do this. Like, hey, your mission's done. You want to just end it? Yeah! I forgot, this game has, um... Replay this mission? No, I wanted to watch the thing. Hang on. You could save... Apparently you could save, uh... You can save missions to tape. You can save missions to tape and then watch them later. 
a big deal back then. TIE, remember TIE Fighter could do this and X-Wing could do this? And so this is the one I just played. Wow, we can... Wow. So it's kind of... It's kind of playing out the mission. Yeah, this was a this was a big deal in Sims back in the days where you can record and you can record your uh, your missions like this and then just go ooh watch what's what's going on what are they doing ooh Ooh, it's a landing craft. Look at that. Look at that landing craft. Look at that. That's pretty neat. Actually, look at that. And I guess you could enter the sim at some point and, and fly again, I guess. Shows the radio message, I suppose. Wow, look at that. <laughs> oh. That's really neat, actually. <laughs> Those cardboard boxes don't know what it is. <coughs> you mean those important allied supplies? <coughs> oh, that's cool. That is actually really neat. Okay. Um, I have made changes? What changes did I make? I don't think I made any changes. Okay. I don't know what this pause here is all about. No idea, really. What else we got? Um, so we did that. We did that. Interdiction, fighter sweep, scramble, close support. Ooh, that sounds fun. What's crossbow? I don't know. Um, let's do an interdiction. And uh, we'll go back to the US AAF. The AF. Ooh, Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts are my favorite. Okay. These are regular pilots. Overcast. Okay. Why do I have bombs? I could decline the mission? What am I interdicting? Why do I have bombs? Oh. Hero Boat Simulator 1944. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised no one's made like a Dunkirk boating sim. You know what I mean? Where you're like a fishing vessel and you've been you've been uh, tasked with saving people from Dunkirk. That'd be a hell of a game. 
You know, that'd be great, right? I think that'd be amazing. Be probably very, it'd probably be depressing as hell, probably violent as hell, but that'd be an amazing game, I think. Oh, we're going after tanks? Oh, that explains it. That's why we have bombs. How do we drop bombs? Backspace. Okay. Backspace is bombs. Oh, that's going to be funny. Um, hey, Julia. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, that's new. Now, does it show the bombs on the outside of the. No, it doesn't. That's fine. There's only so much detail you can put on these things back in 1993. Um, I I know, but I I still think that'd be an I still think that would be a like an amazing sim. All right, so concrete air base. So that's what we're destroying a base. All right, that's fine by me. I guess we're just. Bombs dropped. Well, <laughs> this is going to be funny. <laughs> going to be very funny. Going to be really, really funny. Because I've got unlimited bombs. Oh, nice flack. <laughs> Freaking funny. <laughs> um, oh, nope, not what I meant to do. shot at. You don't say. Really? Never would have guessed. Hit that tower thing. That's what I was trying to aim for. Oh, what the? Hang on. The restream chat. Hang on. That was weird. The restream chat 
uh, program just logged out. Like midstream, it has never done that. It has never done that. I I don't know what what happened there. Hang on a second. It just oh for God's sakes. Okay, Google, I'll do the ones with cars. <laughs> okay, Google, I'll do. I found this on the web. Oh, <laughs> stop it. That was my fault. I did say. I did say the words, you know, okay, such and such. One second. Oh, my God. What is going on here today? Restream is having issues, it seems, folks. Um, oh, come on. I, j I already did the thing, Google. Why are you making me do it again? So. <sighs> Sorry about that, folks. The, uh, the Restream bot program just decided to log out randomly. And uh, it, may it may be do, you know, the Google thing where it's like pick a fire hydrant. Uh, it may be do that before and after I hit the two-factor authentic authentication. So weird. So weird. Don't get it. All right. All right. Okay, sorry about that. Having some restream issues today for some reason. Which is a shame because I love restream and I pay them a good deal of money. Uh, every year to get to all their, all their bells and whistles. And it's just a little frustrating when things don't work. Um, oh, wrong thing. Um, the downside to playing in a DOS box window is you sometimes forget you're playing in a DOS box window and then it's like, why isn't the game working? Oh, because the window isn't, uh, the window isn't, uh, I want to hit that tower. I really want to hit that tower. First, I'm going to try and hit it with guns. Okay. I'm always I always like flack. I, I've always enjoyed the idea of flack. <clears throat> like I love that Free Space Two has flack, and in Unreal Tournament, uh, the flack gun is my absolute favorite. So I, I've always enjoyed the idea of flack. And when a flight game does flack really well, it really adds something to the game. I think. Nice. Lots of buildings on fire. Now I just have to take out the, um... Oh! Okay. Thanks, game. Oh, I should have saved that mission so we could watch all the bombs dropping. That's okay. <laughs> Hang on a second. What the? Okay, hang on. Hang on, let me... Hang on. Because now it's set, now the restream thing is saying disconnected from Discord. 
Yeah, it said connection expired. Please reconnect your di I I did that already. Oh my god, hang on a second. I did that already. Fine, I'll do it again. Oh my god. Yeah, the Discord uh, chat program is saying a connection expired for Discord. So hang on a second. We're just gonna try this again. saying connection expired that's really frustrating you guys that is really frustrating so yeah if you want to be if you want to be visible in the chat I guess just don't yeah there's a yeah there connection in error state so yeah, the bot isn't really connecting to uh, restream at all. Is, isn't connecting at all now. Hang on a sec. What's going on? This is this is frustrating this morning. I'm sorry, folks. But um, oh, oh, this is interesting. So the restream chat is like. It was connected to Discord, and now it's, like, doing a circle thing? Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, folks. We're having some weird... Oh, my God, what? Bacon? Hey, guys, I'll be right back. There's bacon. Hang on.
right, thank you for your patience, everyone. Not only was that bacon amazing, my wife gave me an apricot, which, I mean, I enjoy apricots, but, um, one, sticky. Uh, so I had to wash that, but then, you know, if you have an apricot or something where it gets a little, little sliver, it gets stuck between your teeth, and that's all you feel, so I had to floss that nonsense out. Hey, what's going on, Thorsten? Are you having Discord troubles too? Okay. Or I think it was a pear or a peach. I don't know. It was one. Of, it was a fruit. It was some sticky ass fruit. No, it wasn't a peach. I don't know what it was. It was probably an apricot. Yeah, and uh, later I've got a croissant with uh, cho a chocolate croissant here. Croissant thing. All right, let's do another single mission. So we just did do interdiction, or did we just do that one? Oh, we just did interdiction. Okay, let's do close support. What is that? I'm enjoying like doing the single mission stuff on the first day, and then we'll do uh, you know career. We'll start a career tomorrow. You're a performance. Ground strike against fortified uh, against a fortified position. Ooh. What do we got? We got bombs. Ooh, bombs. I didn't have the apricots with the bacon, so that would be bad. You'd have to cut them up in little pieces and then wrap the bacon around them. I've had back bacon wrapped fruit before, and it's actually quite good. I guess it depends on the fruit, though. But but um no. it depends on the thing. I can't do pineapple and pizza though. I just can't. I don't know why. I just can't. Um, not the biggest pineapple fan in the world anyway. So. <sighs> I'm more of a watermelon guy. And a and a and a cantaloupe and a uh, honeydew guy. This is a this is a wide ass runway. No, I would never put watermelon on pizza. No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I bet in general I'm not a big pineapple fan. I'm more of a watermelon fan. I would never... I cannot imagine watermelon on pizza. That just does not seem right. Though I would try it once. If someone offered it to me, I would try it once. Uh, just to see. <sighs> They're nearby enemies. Ooh, really? All right. Well, I guess we're fighting. I guess we're fighting. Other section. Oh, no. Yeah, watermelon and pizza could work. You'd have to take the seeds out, obviously, but... Not hit that guy. Oh god, I'm I'm the worst. Oh. Well, I don't know. There's just a gray thing into uh shot a friendly aircraft. Oh my god. This is why this is why modern games have like targeting functionality, so that doesn't happen. It was just a green slab, you uh, I hate you. <laughs> this is just a green slab like every other green slab. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I hope you're okay. Just go land, and I'll, I'll deal with these dicks. 
Pineapple tuna taco? I've never had one. Again, if someone offered me one, I would try it. That doesn't sound that bad. Oh. I'm sorry! <laughs> oh, that's useful. Right there, that's real useful. Is that an enemy or is that a friendly? And I don't know anymore. My confidence is shot. Not that I, not that I had much to begin with. Hey, look at this! Look, it's the sun, you guys. Impressive! It's the sun. <laughs> Oh, wait, no. Oh, is that a bandit? Well, I'm gonna shoot it. I hope it is. Well, it was. <laughs> and, of course, I completely missed it. Because, of course, I did. Ah! Okay, is that a bandit? Well, we're gonna find out. I hope so. <laughs> Is that a bandit? Over there. I can't tell. I can't tell. It's just a green blotch from here. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if it's a friendly or not. It was not. Oh, my God. Okay. You mean with other people, Kevin? No, thank you. Not interested. <laughs> I am not much of a multiplayer person. I am I am a huge introvert, and so I am really not interested in playing with people I don't know. And uh Yeah, just gives me anxiety. Again, the thing is other people, dude. <laughs> I, I just can't just play online with anybody. I gotta, one, get to know them, and then two, set aside time days in advance, so days in advance, so I can mentally prepare for you. How did I miss? How did I miss? That's not fair. Um, Yeah, I know a lot of people can just jump into multiplayer with other people. I am not one of those people. I am not one of those people. I never have been one of those people. Um, so, yeah, I, I have to... Exactly. Exactly. David gets it. I've got, um, I've, got a I've got a very limited social battery. Very limited social battery. And... and um, that's one of the reasons I was so exhausted a couple of weeks ago. Um, because we had a full social weekend. Uh, we had a full social weekend. Uh, and, oh my God, it took everything out of me. Like, Friday night, uh, I went to a concert with the wife. It was her concert at elementary school. And I helped her pack her all her violins and stuff. That was exhausting. And then Saturday, we had a graduation party at the beach. I hate the beach, but I love these people, so I went, even though I hate the beach. Um, and then Sunday, we hung out with my wife's family. And then Monday, we hung out with my wife's family. And so I was, I was, I was so tired. I was so tired. The great thing about the concert I went to on Sunday night was I didn't have to talk to anybody because I went by myself. So that was great. I never talked to anybody. I just stood, I just sat there and enjoyed the music. But um, yeah, I can't just play online with people. I know a lot of people can. I cannot. I am not one of those people. 
Is that my wingman or is that an enemy? I can't tell. That was my wingman. Whoo, good thing I didn't shoot. Right? Good thing I didn't shoot. Wow, we haven't even gotten to where I'm supposed to drop the bombs yet. <clears throat> okay, that's probably an enemy, I'm guessing. I'm hoping. And I'm missing. I'm totally missing. Come on. Give me one hit. Give me one. Just one hit. Just one hit. Just give me a hit. Just give... Oh, my God. Besides, the IL-2 sims are a little too rivet countery for me. Though I hear they're getting better in that regard, but yeah. I own most of them because I want to support because since they started like having pilot faith. Oh my God, what? The, uh, the restream chat just died again. Hang on. What the? The F and the F. So... Restream must be having some serious issues. Morning. Remove Discord channel and wait five minutes. Well, I would if it hadn't crashed. <sighs> if it hadn't logged me out. Okay, fine. Uh, hang on. If it makes me do that Google thing again, I'm going to flip. Oh, my God. Okay, Google, I'll pick all the cars. No, not you, phone. Jeez. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. Stupid Google. Okay, and now I'm going to hit my two-factor authentication code, you know, as always do if you have if you don't have two factor on everything you got to put two factor on everything seriously oh and i'll pick cars again google sure sure i'll pick cars again sure sure i'll do this twice i i love i love the google thing okay so let's disconnect hang on let's disconnect oh my god let's we're going to disconnect this going to disconnect discord okay now we're doing, now we're going to disconnect discord should have had the bot go away. Sorry, right, the, the joys of doing things live is when you're having technical difficulties, you're, everyone knows it. Uh, so there goes the restream bot. Okay. So now we're going to wait a few minutes. Now we're going to wait a few minutes. And um, five minutes? So 740. Okay, and then we'll try Discord again. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. I'm gonna get you. Bastard, I hit him once. I don't think I've got unlimited ammo or I'd, I'd be toast right now. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Here, have some bullets. I've got bullets for you. How did I miss? I didn't hit once. <laughs> How am I so awful at this? <laughs> oh, yeah, there's something. Finally. Finally, I hit him once. I scratched him a little bit. Oh, I scratched him again. We can't hit autopilot with enemies about. This feels like a random encounter in an RPG right here. We're playing freaking Pokemon and we ran into... I'm guessing that's an enemy. You bastard. Well... Uh, I'll, 
while the enemies are shot down, you've reached the fortified position. Oh, there it is. That, that, that green blotch right there must be the fortified position. Okay, and we got bombs. This must be the fortified position. We're going to save the tape on this one so we could watch the all the bombs drop. Because it'll be funny. All right. Ooh, flak. I do love me some flak. This is, a, this is not a great angle to come at this with, but okay. Oh, boy, look at that. How'd we do? How'd we do? Okay, it looks like we took out a few things. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. All right, it looks like we took out a few things. Oh, wow. Wee! I am always. Oh, that is good flack. That is good flack right there. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. That is good flack. I like it very much. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is great. That is great. That is good flack. This game gives good flack. Okay. Um... This is a smoking ruin. Well, there's still some more, um, <clears throat> still some more triple A. Oh, that's a nice view. All right, let's do one more pass. Hopefully, that'll do it. <laughs> Hopefully, that'll do it. I think we got... Oh, is it? Great. Uh, end mission. Yes. Oh, uh... I want to watch the bombs fall. Oh, excuse me. Uh, this one, I guess, right? Yeah, I think. Okay, so... <sighs> it's interesting how they have a, like a four-digit location number and on a timestamp. blow my nose. Taking a while.
to get to the bombing part. That was probably me, not getting one hit. Can I not? Now we can watch the bombs drop. Well, that's fun. I've always thought that the saddest one of, the, one of the saddest things about my life. Well, there are a lot, there are a lot of sad things, but one thing that I've always found sad is that extroverts never try to understand introverts. They're always like, just go out and, and be more. So they they always view it through their own lens, like just go out there and be more social. You'll get used to it. That's not how it works. <laughs> That isn't how it works at all. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. That isn't how it works at all. I guess you can't rewind. Well, we'll see another bombing room. But it's always frustrated me when extroverts don't even try to understand introverts. They're just like, oh, you know, if you just go out and be more social, you'll get used to it. You know, just do it more. Like, no, that's not the... Oh, my God. <laughs> like, they never really understand that... Um, they never really understand that they recharge by being around other people, whereas we recharge by being alone. Look at all those bombs falling, my god. Okay, that's fun. All right. Okay, we're going to try this once again. try and reconnect to Discord. One second.
Okay, so now maybe it's gonna work. Still say connection expired. Try to restart the program, maybe that'll Alright. Anyway. I think I'm gonna call it here. Um because I'm kind of tired. <laughs> and I don't want to overdo it, you know, coming back to this. I feel like I've lost a little bit of stamina. I feel like I've lost a tiny bit of stamina and I gotta come back to it. So, uh, that's gonna do it for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more of this. I had a good time, but tomorrow we'll start a career. We'll start one of these careers um, tomorrow. And, uh, well, probably Americans, and then maybe Germans on Thursday. Um, yeah, let's hope the bot works tomorrow. This is really frustrating. And, um, tomorrow we're doing the podcast. Uh, we're going to be talking about licensed games. Uh, our favorite, the best, the worst, that sort of thing. Uh, so that's going to be tomorrow on the podcast. Uh, so thank you for hanging out with me. It's good to be back. Thank you for being so patient and understanding with me about needing a break. Uh, I just need a break sometimes. You know, sometimes you get tired and you need a break. You know, but breaks are good. Breaks are breaks are very therapeutic. You always should take breaks. Um, if you can. So uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow, everyone. Have a great day. Be safe. Be well. And please get vaccinated.